Hey my loves, this is Daisy Ramirez. As you can see, this is my first YouTube video and I really hope that you guys like it. I created this ombre fall inspired look for you guys. If you like what you see, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. So we're going to go ahead and start priming our eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion Anti-Aging and we're going to go ahead and place that all over our lids. Okay, and then we're going to pick up the Kat Von D Contour Shade and Light Palette. We're going to use the color Lyric, which is the one right here, and we're going to apply that all over our lids, okay? Okay, so now we're going to get the Morphe Palette 35.0. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up this shade, it's an earthy brown shade, and we're going to apply that straight to our crease. Okay, and then we're going to take this brush, which is a large blending brush, and we're going to go take it, and then straight on the crease. And what I like to do is I like to blend on the outer part in circle of motions, and then when we go on the crease, go windshield wiper motions. So that way we can blend it all out. Okay, and then we're going to go straight with this orangey shade right here and apply that beneath the earth, earthy yellow tone that we just used right now. So we're going with the same brush, we're going to apply that underneath. just on the crease. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this blending brush. It has no name whatsoever, so we're just taking this blending brush and going ahead, just go ahead and do circular motions and keep blending it that way we can fuse the color out like so we can make a gradient effect so remember do go ahead and do circular motions on the outside and go windshield wiper motions when you go to the crease and keep doing that until you're satisfied with how you're diffusing the color we're gonna go ahead and pick up this small crease brush and pick up the shade from the Morphe palette, this dark brown, and place this on our outer corner. So you're gonna go ahead and do this. Okay. And keep trying to diffuse it, that way it won't be so dark. So we're going to pick this blending brush and go ahead and diffuse the outer corner, that way it's not as harsh. Again, circular motion since it's in the outer corner. And then picking back the same brush, the small crease brush, applying that darker shade again so we can go ahead and intensify the color. Yeah. 
Okay, and then I go ahead and to move it towards the crease a little bit and then go ahead and keep going with the outer corner. That way we just keep intensifying the color and that way it won't be as crazy dark. That way we're going to blend it out. Okay, again with this brush, blend it out. Since we lost the orangey color in our crease, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the same two colors from the Morphe palette and put that again back into our crease. That way we don't lose that orangey feel to this eye. And back again with the blend, 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 blend. Now that I'm satisfied with the blending, we're going to go ahead and pick up the NARS Radiant Concealer by NARS. And then go ahead with a small concealer brush, which is this one, it defines concealer brush. We're going to go ahead and pick up some so we can go ahead and start cutting the crease. Okay, so what I like to do, you just go ahead and stretch out your eye and start defining it, that way we get a crisp line. I like to look up, that way I know where it's gonna crease. And from there, keep going. And then go ahead and shade in. We're doing a half cut crease today, so we're just gonna do it half and then grade it out. So not all the way, just keep half of your eyelid. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit more because I like my line extra crisp. And go ahead, reapply where you left the concealer. So we're going ahead and picking up the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D using this angled brush, straight dipping into the lyric color in the middle, and apply that way on the lid, that way we can set the color so it won't end up creasing or anything, we can have like a flat base. So now we're gonna go ahead and pick up this crease brush again once more to diffuse the outer corner with the dark brown shape from the Morphe palette, which is this color. Tap off the excess and go ahead and try to diffuse it a little bit. That way the concealer isn't that harsh. So we're gonna go ahead and blend out the outer corner, that way it's not as harsh. And with the same concealer brush, we're gonna go ahead and diffuse the concealer and the eyeshadow together, that way it's not as, you can tell right away, you know? Just go ahead and keep blending it out. And keep applying that same darkness dark brown keep applying it on the outer corner that way we can go ahead and keep 
getting that shade darker and darker the way we want it. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up this copper shade, which was until, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, y'all, you should know that my cat is the one who broke this palette. This demon cat, you see right here. She looks evil, huh? Freaking hate her. But she's cute. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place this middle color right here. And then put it in our middle lid. Just like that. Just in the middle section. Try not to go past where we shaped the crease. That way it won't look too like messy. And it'll just look like, you know, just the middle section. So we're gonna go ahead and keep packing that color. So it's gonna be pretty vibrant. And then you're gonna go ahead and blend it outwards. That way you won't tell the two different colors. So I think that's how I want it. And then we're gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right here, which is gone as well. That shade, more of a champagne, corally kind of color. And we're gonna place that all in our front section of our lid. Okay, okay so once we already got the color that we wanted, the shade, we're gonna go ahead and take the same brush this one and we're gonna go ahead and blend the middle section see what I'm doing you blended it outwards that way if you blend inwards it's gonna be mostly orangey than the the corally color so you just blend it outwards like that that we can go ahead and do like an ombre effect that's how it is so see how it goes from light to dark that's how we want it so I'm going to go ahead and use this mascara, Mega Plush by Maybelline, and go ahead and coat my lashes. And you want to go ahead and do a light coating, that way when we add more mascara after we get our lashes on. Go ahead and use the NYC Liquid Liner, and just go ahead and eyeline. Starting from the middle. And then we're just going to go ahead and flick it up. So the lashes I'm going to be using today are the Coco Lashes and Goddess and I'm going to apply the dual white glue right on the lash band. So you're just going to go ahead and coat the lash band. Okay, and then you're just gonna wait till it gets to a neon kind of blue and then they're ready to put on. So it took like about three minutes to get to a tacky neon blue color, kind of like this. And then it's ready to put on my eyelash. So you're just so and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our face with our foundation of from Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the color Y. 245 okay and then we're just gonna go ahead and just apply it okay and then we're gonna go ahead and use this kabuki brush I'm so sorry for being dirty we're just gonna go ahead and buff it right in to our skin so we're gonna go ahead and start with this creamy concealer by NARS we're gonna go ahead and conceal these 
non-visible dark circle. What I like to do is line underneath my eyeliner. That way it can be like a sharp line. So with the Damp Beauty Blender, we're going to go ahead and start, you know, blending. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal Mercier and bake underneath our eyes. That way it doesn't cause any creases and we can have like a smooth surface. So I'm going to go ahead and start baking with my Beauty Blender and just and I just put underneath the eyes. And then whatever is left over, we're gonna go ahead and start patting our nose, every the other areas that we just can't well put concealer on. Okay, and once we're done baking, we're gonna go ahead back to our Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. And we're gonna go ahead and get this angled contour brush and dip it in shadow play and subconscious. Okay, tap off the excess and go right on your cheekbones. Racing all these broken dreams tonight. And we'll fly. And what I like to do, I like to shade underneath on um, right here by my jawline. And underneath the double chin, because girl, we are trying to hide it, you know, trying to have it poking out. Okay, and once we're done with the contour, we're gonna go ahead and use this large stippling brush. All the brushes that I'm using are wet and wild and they don't have a name, so bear with me. We're gonna go ahead and sweep off the excess of the baking. And we're gonna go ahead and bake underneath the contour that way we get a straight, sharp line. So again, once again with the Laura Mercier. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it right underneath the contour. That way it's a sharp line. We're gonna let it bake for like at least two minutes or so. Okay, once it's already baking, we're gonna go ahead and go with our lipstick by Limbo by ColourPop. Go ahead and apply it on our lips. So we back at it once more with the Becca Highlighter Champagne Pop. And we're gonna go ahead and use this brush. I use it as highlighter because it just, you know, catches on my face. We're gonna go ahead and spray it with the All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and dip it inside the highlighter. Show me all the places I've never known. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. We'll chase the night. Race all of these. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and get our nose and our cupid's bow. And then, now we're gonna have to go ahead and dust this baking with the same large stippling brush.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this color and this color. And we're gonna put it on our, underneath our lower line. Okay, and with the same brush, we're going to go ahead and pick up this darker color and only do the outer end of your lower lash line. Okay, and then with the large blending brush, we're going to go ahead and just smoke all together. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick this orangey glitter, thanks to my girl Chantel, the glitter queen herself. She sent them to me. We're gonna go ahead and place that in our inner corner. Okay, so with this brush, we're gonna go ahead and pick up this color and just put it in the inner corner. Racing all these broken dreams tonight. I will fly. I will fly. Okay, so now that this look is not complete yet, we're gonna go ahead and spray our face with Urban Decay All Nighter. Just like three or four bumps. Okay. And the look is complete. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you guys did, go ahead and like and comment. And maybe share the video with everybody. This was my first video, so I really hope that you know you liked it. So yeah, I mean, if anything, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, share the word, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. And then boom. Boom. No, you should have that.